breathing. I hope you have seen short type of questions part one, two, three, and four. So here we are today to talk about short type of questions part five. Part one, part two, part three, part four. Me kya hua? I hope you have seen that. Kaise humne questions attempt kiye? What type of questions they were? They were belonging to which topic, which chapter? How did we think upon those questions? Everything is right there. If you have missed on to those four videos, feel free to check on to the YouTube channel in the Mesh Mehta G part. You will find it right over there. Without wasting a lot of time with regards to things of past, let's move further. I hope yesterday's friendship day was great for all of you. A uh, happy friendship day to all in that regards today again. Going further, let's get going. Just for information, yes, for my letters achieved. I was all in the rank zero one in 2020. Tires in 2021 was all in the rank twelve. ठीक है दो आर थिंग्स ऑफ पास लेट्स वर्क फर्दर टू क्रिएट हिस्ट्री अगेन ऑल राइट सो वी हैव अ एमसीक्यू अगेन अगेन दिस इज अ प्रीवियस ईयर जीफाइट क्वेश्चन जीफाइट 2014 अगेन इट इज ऑफ द सेम टाइप इट इज बिलोंगिंग टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ मैच द कॉलम्स माय टाइम इज ओवर मेरे को अभी तक आंसर ही नहीं मिला ओ सो बेसिकली इफ आई ऑब्जर्व ओवर हियर आई हैव डिफरेंट रग्स अलोंग विद डिफरेंट रग्स आई हैव गॉट देयर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन इन द सेकंड कॉलम As always, as we approach match the columns, first of all, I am going to check different options. A का two two repeat हो रहा है, B का two two repeat हो रहा है, C का one 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 repeat हो रहा है, and D का four four repeat हो रहा है. So that way of elimination, what we were talking about in short type of questions part one, short type of questions part two, short type of questions part three, वो वे यहाँ पे easily apply नहीं होगा. अब शायद हमको कोई दो option से shortlist करके answer पे आना पड़ेगा. If I talk with regards to all these drugs, these are all belonging to your category of anti-cancer. I hope you remember methotrexate. All these drugs are basically from the chapter of anti-cancer. If anti-cancer is read, then it is easy. If anti-cancer is not read, it is a little difficult. Let's try and get into all of them one by one. First and foremost option, methotrexate. We all are aware it's an anti-metabolite. So I have to see which one is A or two. तो ए का टू इज ओवर हियर एंड ए का टू इज ओवर हियर मतलब आंसर या तो ऑप्शन ए है या तो ऑप्शन डी है इफ आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन व्हिच इज विद रिगार्ड्स टू बी बी इज बेसिकली साइक्लोफॉस्फेमाइड एंड साइक्लोफॉस्फेमाइड एज वी रिमेंबर इज बेसिकली अ अल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट तो बी का थ्री देखना है आपको याद होगा साइक्लोफॉस्फेमाइड के केस में कुछ एक एक्टिव मेटाबोलाइट बनता है ये शायद खुद प्रो ड्रग है इसमें शायद कुछ टॉक्सिक मेटाबोलाइट बनता है शायद इसका कोई एंटीडोड है राइट क्या था इसका एंटीडोड इन द आउट इन द चैट बॉक्स समवेयर समथिंग व्हिच वाज लिंक्ड विद दिस समवेयर देयर वाज अ टॉक्सिक मेटाबोलाइट फॉर साइक्लोफॉस्फेमाइड एज़ वेल ये सारी चीजें पॉसिबल क्वेश्चंस है सो डोंट फोकस ओनली ऑन द क्वेश्चन पार्ट ऑफ इट आई होप यू ऑल आर अवेयर वी आर डेली डूइंग वीडियोस ऑन ड्रग ऑफ द डे एज़ वेल यस एवरी डे वी पिक अप वन ड्रग एट शार्प 5:30 पीएम एवरीथिंग अबाउट दैट ड्रग उसका मेटाबॉलिज्म उसका मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन उसका सिंथेसिस उसका आईयूपीएससी एवरी पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन व्हिच कैन टर्न अप फ्रॉम दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव नॉट चेक दैट इट्स देयर ऑन द सेम चैनल टॉकिंग ओवर हियर ए का 2 था बी का 3 था ए 2 बी 3 इज राइट ओवर हियर ए 2 बी 3 इज राइट ओवर हियर सो आंसर इज सपोज्ड टू बी ए इन दैट केस आई डोंट केयर व्हेदर सी वाज 1 और नॉट आई डोंट केयर व्हेदर डी वाज 4 और नॉट Within two options, I could solve the entire match the column, and yes, that's the smarter way to go for it. Let's look into the example part of it, explanation part of it. How those other two drugs and what are their mechanism of action? Methotrexate, yes, we saw it's an anti-metabolite basically. We spoke about dactinomycin being an inter intercalating agent. The option four tha. Cyclophosphamide is an alkylating agent. It's not only cyclophosphamide. Its presence or both sare drugs the. Which were basically alkylating agent. I hope you remember all those as well. Taxol. I hope you remember taxins, packy taxol and all. They promote polymerization of your microtubules. And lastly, when it comes to your vincristin, vincristin, which alkaloids? Ha, wait, wait, wait. Ha, vinca alkaloids. There is a video of vinca alkaloids on this channel. Everything about vinca alkaloid. Vincristin, kya hota hai? Vincristin, kya hota hai? Are they indole alkaloids? Kya usme indole ring hai? Mujhe nahi pata. Check that video. You will get an idea. And yes, vincristin basically promotes depolymerization of your microtubules. So yes, these are just few drugs with their mechanism of action. There are many more. When you get into anti-cancer, maybe that day you can go in there. Another question of G part twenty fourteen. 
This time it's not from cosmology point of view, but rather it is from cognosi point of view. Yes, from cognosi you have the plant, and they are talking about the chemical constituent part of it. Its active constituent is what? If I apply the same logic here, I just have to check with regards to different options. It won't work. A3, A3, there are two options A3. There are two options B2 or B4. There are three options C1. And D1, D2, D3, D4. If I know that the active ingredient of olive oil is active, it will be solved in a mini pitch. What I need to know is only about olive oil. So yes, as I am aware, olive oil में palmitin होता है। मुझे वो देखना है कि D का two कौन सा है? D का two ये है। Basically answer is this. Yes, with regards to aloe, it is a barbaloin. I hope you all are aware about barbalanolase. Ginger was the easiest to find out. Alin होता है उसमें and lemon being consists of hesperidin. अगर most of them, I am sure you might be aware about ginger and alin. तो अगर आपको ginger and alin B का four मिल रहा था, तो basically दो option ऐसे थे which were with B four. So you further had to streamline it upon as well. I hope you got the logic. Just try and identify the different options concept and then pick up those options. Going to the next match the column, again a cognosy based, but this time it's about their biological source or somewhere a type of source. Again, if an option being followed, a case a char option the one, two, three, four. If I know Shakavar in the answer, kya hai, the answer will come easy. And yes, we all know Shakavari ka dusra naam kya tha. What is the other name for Shatavari? Has it got something to do with asparagus? Has it got something to do with asparagus? Yes. Your Shatavari is nothing but asparagus. I need to search option where A will be with 4. A will be with 4. Yeah. Yes. This is the answer. If I chalk with regards to Reservatrol. Reservatrol is basically your purple grapes. When it comes to your glucosinates, they are basically a part of your broccoli and cabbage. And let's not forget routine. Which is basically a part of your. Where did I go wrong? Did I go wrong? Protein is a part of your buckwheat and citrus foods. Just for your information, protein का कुछ और एक नाम है. Any idea what is that another name for protein? Protein का वो दूसरा नाम क्या है? Protein का वो दूसरा नाम क्या है? It's also known as vitamin D. Yes, vitamin D, folic acid, ferrol, D1, D2, D3, vitamin. नियासन का दूसरा नाम क्या है? थाइमिन का दूसरा नाम क्या है? भूल गया सच्ची याद नहीं आ रहा है। राइबोफ्लेविन नहीं याद आ रहा है। पैंडोसेनिक एसिड B5, पॉलिक एसिड B9, साइनोकोबालामिन B12। वाइटामिन P is basically another name for your routine only. Basically, when it comes to routine, it's obtained from your buckwheat and your citrus foods. Going to the next match the column. Oh, stop. There are many more questions coming up on. If you like such videos, you can subscribe on to our channel, press the bell icon, get notified. If you want to get added into our free WhatsApp group where we post daily MCQs or job updates, you can reach out to this number. Going further, talking about the further MCQ. Oh, now this is on the basis of discovery. Koi bhi solve kar dega hai. Discovery ka question, 8, 9, 10 standards se dekh rahe. Kitne saare discovery ke questions hamne tabhi solve kiye. Ek to hara favorite uncle tha, Alexander Angel. Yaad hai? So basically, I see the word Alexander Fleming over here, and that's why my brain starts hitting me that Alexander ने कुछ तो discover किया था। मुझे Alexander का answer तो हमेशा याद रहेगा कि Alexander Fleming is penicillin। अभी A और three देखना है। This is the only option where A is three। इसके जो और कोई भी option नहीं जिसमें A three हो। Do I need to solve this part? क्या ये सोचने की भी जरूरत या time invest करने की जरूरत है? The answer is no. I know A3 is a key option, so this has to be the answer. Yes, Kobilka B would be 4. Yes, your Banting is basically your GPCR and your Black is basically your beta blockers. This is all the research ka hi part. Hai. Nothing else in. Let's go further. Yes, ENK discoveries. Alexander Fleming penicillin, your Banting and best insulin. Very, very important not only from GPAD point of view, but also from NIPER point of view. NIPER will both many questions drug discovery based on it. So if you get this logic clear over here, it becomes far more easy taking it further. Not only that, you have Robert Koch, which was involved for anthrax and tuberculosis. Development of propranolol was by Jack, James Black. Oh, James word would be confused. Not to. Correct? Right? Robert and Brand word would be confused. Basically, they are JPCR receptors. 
your Jonas Salk was involved in Salk vaccine and your Voxman was with streptomycin. This whole table is very important. Hai. If you want to capture it, capture it now. Later on, you can come back to this video and view again as well. Going further, another question, but this time it is Z5 2013. Again, kuch mechanism of action ki baat ho rahe, kuch cofactor requirement ki baat ho rahe. I have my alpha ketoglutarate, which is getting converted basically into glutamic acid. Or I have my uridine getting converted to thymidine. Or I have my pyruvic acid getting converted to acetyl coenzyme A. If I pyruvic acid or acetyl coenzyme A, ki baat karta hu, this question seems to be incomplete. We have missed on to option D. Mm -hmm. D option basically you can say that it's going to cause one carbon transfer. So it is a right hand side option which is going to be involved in one carbon transfer reactions. So D option over here is one carbon transfer. So I have my alpha keto glutarate getting converted to glutamic acid. That happens in the presence of NADH. I need NADH as a cofactor. Without that cofactor, my coenzyme won't be able to work. My coenzyme is an organic molecule only, which is basically a cofactor. So, if alpha ketoglutarate glutamic acid ka NADH is a option as well, which is A2. I have no options to say that in the part of the question paper, ke, as it is option, I have no BCD option. Ke bare mein sochna bhi nahi hai. Continuously, we have done all this mass column type of questions earlier, four, earlier three videos, second, third, and fourth. But also pure match the columns from previous year question papers of GPAC. Again, we are doing match the columns just to give you a thought process that whenever you see a question, again, in that if it's a match the column, your question doesn't end at question, your question ends at four options. To so be calculative on those grounds, your uridine to thymidine occurs with the help of tetrahydrofolate, your pyruvic acid to acetyl coenzyme happens with TPP, and lastly, your one carbon transfer. Sorry. Your one carbon transfer would be with pyridoxamine. There are some, there's some error. I'll get back to you with regards to this particular MCQ. Meanwhile, at least you can remember this part of it. And most importantly, when it comes to the explanation domain of it, this would give us a far more better clarity. If you observe over here, your thymidine phosphate oxidative decarboxylation has been involved. Your FED is involved in your redox reactions, oxidation reductions. Whenever you want a cell group being transferred, you have coenzyme A. Whenever you want to transfer group from or to the amino acids, you have your PLP. NAD is again involved in oxidation reduction reactions, just like your FED. Again, your tetrahydrofolate, as I said, is involved in one carbon transfer, and your biotin is involved in carboxylation. So these are their functional reactions what they carry out, and these are the coenzymes which are responsible for that. Yes, you can rely on this, you can copy this part of it. Going to the next master column, G by 2012, type of mills. Milling, Yadara, physical pharmacy, pharmaceutical engineering somewhere, hammer mill, other type of mills. So I have my type of mills over here hammer mill, rod mill, fluid energy mill. Teen mill, teen option, right? Maybe teen option, it is of the year 2012. So basically, what you need to analyze over here is which type of mill is used for which type of material. If I am going to have a meal being used for milling purpose and if I am doing it for thermolabile material, if I am doing it for thermolabile material, then what type of mill I am supposed to use for it? If I am doing for thermolabile material, I am supposed to go for a fluid energy mill. Yes, fluid energy mill is the one which is used for thermolabile mill. Again, C with 2 ka ek hi option, baki sab C ke saath alag option. So yes, this is the answer. With regards to rod mill, rod mill is used for paints and your hammer mill is used for dried plant materials. So the plant ke milling karni hoongi, plant material ke milling karni hoongi, it would be your hammer mill. Rod mill is for your paints, your fluid energy mill is for your thermal abide drugs, where C is equal to 2. Just to take it more in detail, ho sakta hai GPAT mein, aane wale years mein, ye teen mills ke badle, or mills pe bhi question hai. So just for information, principles pe bhi question aate hai. So I have included everything over here. Hammer mill works on the principle of impact. It's the only mill which works only on the principle of impact. Baki a ball mill ki baat karo, ball mill requires impact and attrition bone. You talk about fluid energy mill, again impact and attrition bone. You talk about 
कोलोइडल मीडियम मीडियम पैटर्न एट्रेशन बोल जी पैट में इसके प्रिंसिपल पे ही क्वेश्चन आता है पूरा मीन कैसे काम करता है कौन से मटेरियल से बना है हाउ इज इट वर्किंग नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एट द सेम टाइम यू नीड टू बी अवेयर अबाउट व्हाट इज इट सूटेबल फॉर सो व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट हैमर मीन देन वी जस्ट स्पोक अबाउट इट्स यूज्ड फॉर ड्राई प्लांट मटेरियल्स इट्स आल्सो अवेलेबल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द ड्रग्स इफ योर मटेरियल इज फ्लायबल अगर मटेरियल फ्लायबल है तो आप बॉल मिल यूज कर सकते हो फॉर मॉडरेटली हार्ड एंड फ्लायबल मटेरियल If you are using roller mill, which works on the principle of impact and compression, you remember car. Car means gadi. C stands for compression. A is basically somewhere of your impact, and your R is basically of your roller mill. Correct? याद रहेगा? या तो और easy करना है तो SIR वाला sir होता है, but ये CIR वाला sir है. C stands for compression. I stands for impact. R stands for roller mill. Whatever way you like, C I R C A R, just say R. Don't forget it's for soft materials. Soft materials, if you are breaking down, then you are going to use a roller mill. Thermal abrasive drugs, then you have your fluid energy mill. And if the material is brittle, you will go with your colloidal mill. Again, a very important table. Ensure that you note it down. Going further, oh, it's time for the day. Don't worry. Come back again. Come back again. Very short type of question. And yes, tomorrow more in detail. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, tomorrow morning sharp at 9 a.m. again. See you. We'll see you again. Sure. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Bye.